Hi, I'm Jim, and I installed the Boss MC400 speak, motorcycle speakers, 600 watts. Uh, got that. Okay, here's my um, 01 Honda Shadow Spirit 1100, two carburetors. Okay, so first, I, I'll do it just, this is going to be a short video. So here's my speakers and I'll get to that in a minute. So I took off the gas tank, which is over there. That's easy to do. Um, but first you have to take off, I did kind of a mock off here. First you have to do is take this bolt off behind if you have one of these. So just get a adjustable wrench, take that off. Here's your passenger seat. I had a uh, rear bag connected to the sissy bar. Anyway, so then there's two bolts here. They're Torx, and uh, you have to find out what size that is. That's it, then the seat comes right off. Um, also, to take off the gas tank, you need to uh, get to here, take this tube, the gas tube off with this, and then pull this tube. This is your breather for the gas tank. And then, once you have this off, you have this bolt, there's a bolt here that holds the gas tank on. And there's one up here. That's like a nine millimeter, I think. So once you get those off, then these two screws, they're for the side covers, which is they, there, and then they look like this. There's a left and a right, and they just come right off. There's only uh, two, one screw holding them on. So then you have all this open. So it's very easy to get it to this point. It should take like 10 minutes. Okay, so the first thing I did is, um, here's the fuse box. So, which is on this bike, there's a little schematic there, but you could find out. Okay, then the second one here for mine is your accelerator or ignition, ignition start. So I tapped into there. Also, Try to find out, on well, mine it's the bottom one, uh, where your positive is. You can get a meter, which I use the meter, because you don't want to hook it up to the top one. I saw this on another video. Um, because if you hook it up to the negative side, you'll be going through the fuse and you could blow your fuse. So anyway, you just turn, your, turn this on, your uh, ignition key, which mine's right here. And then um, put your meter up to it and you'll find it. And they give you a fuse here, so I'm doing it this way. So I wired, okay, here comes my current wires. Okay, I went through this side, the left side, went all the way through, and then I go to the other side. And here I mounted my amplifier, which most people are doing this. And here's your cover for it, so. That'll just pop on right there. It's a perfect fit, it's great. I even kept the bag on for a little uh, water resistance, if, if any, see how hot it gets. Okay, so then here's these wires. Um, this is your volume, which goes, I, I put on the left side, which you'll see. Here's my volume. So I ran it through, as you, you'll see. So the main, okay, connector, connect that, then I went through there, then I went through the other side with the current the power wire, and then these I just bundled, bunched them up here, like that. And then here's the wire for MP3 player, that's what I'm using. So you connect. Um, most important thing on this whole job, take your time. I don't care if anybody does it like an hour, I don't, I don't go by time, I, it's whatever's right. So I don't want to be 200 miles away and have this break down, you know. So anyway, so there's the speakers and I'll come around the other side. So here's my wires. I just run it through. Don't make it complicated. Just, you know, run your speaker wire. Again, here's my uh, the volume control speaker wire. Went through here. So I'm gonna put my covers on. So, um, you know, just keep some slack there. 
put your covers on. Here's my current wire. I ran that down uh, right to the battery. So then this will close. Yeah, it will close. I see my battery's getting low. So, okay, that'll close. Okay, let's get this thing going here. So I turn on my accelerator, and then my MP3. And... Here's some miscellaneous tools I used. So I soldered a couple wires. And um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I like to mount this on the left side because I don't like to mount like adjusting volume. Because if you have to brake, I know you have a foot brake, but if you're adjusting volume and something happens, like you don't want to be going back and forth. So if anything, put, use your clutch and then you can adjust that. So uh, then, yeah, next. I just use a Sansa MP3 player. But, um, okay, yeah, the sound is great. I mean, for $50. You'll go to a, a uh, audio place. I've been to a couple of them. They want to sell you amp is 250, speakers are 250. Like this is good. Actually, I had a speaker blow out, but definitely get the warranty. That four dollar warranty on Amazon. These are from Amazon, so you know they drop ship them to you. So uh, all right, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to wrap this up. I have, I have a windshield. That's what this is for. Connected from Walmart that holds my mp3 just i think it's 15 dollars or something um there's my windshield over there so um yeah so it's uh just take your time and um it's not that hard hardest part actually putting the speakers on on here here's how i did that um the thick one i put up top and then the thin rubber i put on the bottom wherever that is uh, there it is on the bottom. So then, I see some people put them upside down. So uh, I'm keeping that in mind. I did buy a tack too from Amazon, which uh, is really nice. Easy to hook up. Run that right to your coil, which is take one of the panels off. I can take the panels off without removing the gas tank. If you pull the gas, take that bolt out. If you pull the gas tank up, but just get a magnet so you don't lose the screws. It's a pain. It's, but um, it's not a big deal taking your seat and that rear pad off. So, all right. Um, okay, good luck. And take your time. <laughs>